morning everyone. It's good to uh, be with you even if it's just you seeing me and I not seeing you but it's still good to be with you because when we do these devotions I feel like I'm closer to you so I'm glad that uh, that we're doing them. I, uh, I heard someone last week was telling me that uh, they heard about one of the prisoners uh, putting out to as many people as possible something that they were told and what they were told was false. So we as Christians especially need to check things out and then maybe double check because we don't want to be giving out false information. But it's one of those things, of course, where uh, there's so many people out there that want to scam us, so many people out there that want us to believe one thing when it's not true at all. So we just have to always continuously be careful. 
during times of war and or pandemics, especially something we're going through right now, pandemic viruses uh, and all the problems that they bring. There are many people who rise up and claim to be able to predict the future. God's people should be very discerning who we listen to and choose to believe. Many self-proclaimed prophets become wealthy by exploiting fearful people for monetary gain. God spoke through King Solomon to tell us the earthly people that earthly people cannot trust to accurately predict their future. I think this is very true. Um, just, just we, we can't do that. And we know uh, chapter and verse, we know many, many times when people have said the earth is going to come to an end, but it hasn't. And people still claim to do that. And there's many other uh, times when people have predicted this or predicted that, and it just doesn't happen. From Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 7, verse 14, it says, When times are good, be happy. But when times are bad, consider this. God has made the one time as well as the other so that mortals cannot predict their future. Something that we always need to remember. I'm going to give you two examples that were back in the day, but there have been many over the years. In 1900, Daniel Webster said this about the West. I have never heard of anything, and I cannot conceive of anything more ridiculous, more absurd, and more affrontive to all sober judgment than to cry that we are profiting by the accusation of New Mexico and California. I hold that they are not worth a dollar. Well, we bought them, and I'm so glad that we did. We now have a state with the name of New Mexico and a state with the name of California. Later on, in 1959, we acquired Hawaii and Alaska as our uh, 49th state and 50th state, uh, Alaska being 49 and Alaska and, and Hawaii being 50. So it's all been very well worth it. In 1948, liberal thinker Henry Adams said this about a not, an 1848 world collapse. My figures coincide in fixing 1950 as the year when the world will come to an end. Well, 1950 came and went 70 years ago, and we're still here. So please do not believe everything you hear. God does speak through prophets, but every human prophet is also fallible and cannot be fully trusted. The Word of God is the Christian's trustworthy book of prophecy, and only a divine God can accurately predict the future. So I've told you before, good people, that God has prophesied 6,000 times in this book. And now we're at over 4,000 times when this prophecy, or I think promises, have come completely true exactly the way the Bible said it would happen. Believe in the Bible, believe in God's Word, and then be careful about believing anybody else. Let's go to the prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we do thank you for each and every day. I thank you for the good people who are watching this uh, devotion, including my grandkids, Preston, Tegan, Emmy, Grayson, and Stella. And I ask Heavenly Father that you be with them, as well as the good people from our church, as well as the good people that are watching otherwise. Be with all of us, Heavenly Father, as I lift them all up to you, asking that you continue to put a hedge of protection around them, Help us, Heavenly Father, to believe in your holy word and not believe everything we hear, especially from people who are trying to gain monetarily. Be with us and watch over us. Continue to keep that hedge of protection around us, Heavenly Father. And as we ask this, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
God bless each and every one of you good people. I love all of you. Have a great day.